Today on The Daily Dose, the Oakland firestorm of 1991. After firefighters snuffed out a five-acre blaze on a steep hillside northeast of the Caldecott Tunnel's west portal, around 11 a.m. on Sunday, October 20th, 1991, a fierce Diablo wind had picked up in the Berkeley Hills and nearby Oakland Hills. Similar to Santa Ana winds, that sometimes terrorized Southern Californians. The Diablo winds re-sparked Saturday's fire, quickly spreading the flames in gusting winds up to 70 miles an hour. Within 30 minutes, the fire had crossed both Highway 24, an eight-lane freeway, and Highway 13, a four-lane freeway, eventually igniting hundreds of homes in the Forest Park neighborhood. By the end of the first hour, the escalating firestorm had destroyed nearly 790 structures, wiping out homes at a rate of one every 11 seconds. Local firefighters became quickly overwhelmed by the high winds, steep terrain, and rapid spread of the fire. And once firefighters had been called in from as far north as the Oregon border and as far south as Bakersfield, outside fire teams faced various equipment compatibility issues such as hydrants having the wrong size outlets for the hoses used by neighboring counties. To make matters worse, flames took out power lines to 17 pumping stations in the Oakland water system, leaving the job of fire suppression largely up to air tankers and helicopters. In addition to the winds and high heat, an important factor in the rapid spread of the fire was that it had started in a remote area between developed and undeveloped land thick with dry vegetation that set fire at the first touch of a flying ember. As nightfall descended, the firestorm threatened to destroy the historic Claremont Resort Hotel, where the media at first gathered to report on the fire until the approaching conflagration forced them to evacuate. Television crews trained their cameras on the dark hill immediately behind the hotel, as millions of viewers watched as the fire marched house to house toward the now evacuated hotel. When the Diablo winds finally diminished around sunset, the fire was stopped shortly before it reached the landmark hotel. All told, the Oakland firestorm of 1991 killed 25 people and injured 150 more. It burned 1,520 acres and destroyed 2,843 single-family homes and 437 apartment and condo units. Estimated losses stood at more than a billion and a half dollars, nearly twice that amount in today's inflated currency. And there you have it, the Oakland firestorm of 1991, today on The Daily Dose.